Gonna take. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another interesting video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. It doesn't matter whether you're tuning our channel, movies on screen. In this video, today we will give review on the Hollywood movie, The Guilty, 2021. Dear viewers, The Guilty is a getting limited release in theaters on 24th November 2021 and will be available to stream on Netflix on 1st October. It's 90 minutes long and is orbited for language throughout. The Guilty director Anthony Foucault's latest feature is one of the many American remakes of the international hit that doesn't quite get what made the original a Danish film from director Gustav Moller are so special. Many of these remakes are often a film that have rather precise narratives with specific events to twist the audience didn't see coming the first time. Week 10 gets a retold for American audience, The Guilty is no different, if one were to have never seen the original, then it's a fairly good suspense-filled drama that showcases much of what we like for Ifekua. Screenwriter Nick Pezzoletto and actor Jake Galin Hell. And without offering anything particularly interesting or nonsense, why The Guilty still has enough to keep audience engaged and on the edge of their seats. This story follows Joy Baller and the Jake Galen Hall, a police officer, take the task to answering emergency calls after an unspecified incident sent him to duty desk. During the particularly stressful shift and day before a trial, he answered a distress call from a woman who claims to have been abducted. The transpires over the next few hours in filled the twist and turn as the officer became increasingly obsessed with the finding and saving his woman. The story of an officer become overzealous about the particular case of building resources being unnecessarily revealed to colleagues and is potentially in trouble for a serious crime in neither new nor innovative. The timing of this narrative could, couldn't be more relevant today as a few recent high-profile cases have been an incident and the conviction of police officers who abuses their powers. The guilty, however, attempt to subvert expectations by giving viewers a complicated lead and presenting insight into an institution he worked for throughout his interactions with fellow laws and enforcement agents all while he sits at his desk. Just clearly a source of toxicity at work, often being outright rude, is demasive toward his fellow emergency call agent in also showing they stand for his job, he can still be efficient when the needs arise, actuating and acting quickly to aid a woman in need of help as the desperate attempts to save her continue. His outward persona and being the crumble, revealing a broken man who requires help but is not receiving it by the very institution that should help people in need. As a remake, however, The Guilty Fall Short is nothing more than the beat for a beat copy of the original. Pelzoleto adds a bit more for the reflection the environment Joyce is in us reaching the Denmark setting for the California, adding a specific detail like a fire ravaging the state that make emergency service secures. There are also added details to illustrate that Joy is struggling with a masculinity amongst other things. For example, he grips his inhaler throughout the movie and refusing to use it as if to show he is capable without it. However, while both the remake and original operates as one of fan shows with the lead giving their all as they act throughout the nightmare scenario throughout their headset and its their personal lives. The remake ultimately uh, doesn't compare to the 2018 film of the same name. There was from the shine and sheen of the Hollywood production of the Garland Hall by the progressive approach in the portrayal of Judge X, the granted what made the original so complex and carefully constructed. As closely as the remake follows the original, the updated film doesn't give itself the benefits or the debut by how close it's skewed to what the writer director Gustav Moller created. For a film directed by Fakua and written by a creator of the Chief Detective, one would hope that Guilty Remake would offer something new or do something different. But it doesn't do either. The film could be sure fire hit on Netflix throughout the despite its shortcoming and unjustified existence. It's a fast-paced instance and well-acted drama 
that doesn't demand too much from its audience. That's all from today's video. I hope you like our video. If you like, then hit the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more recent updates. See you in the next video. Goodbye.